Update. IntelligenceSquared.com In 1993, Boutros, Boutros Rally, or could also be called Boutros, Boutros, Boutros Rally, he, the, he was Secretary General of the United Nations, an eminent Frenchified Egyptian, who in 1993 said, well, he says, we have to have democracy in Somalia, for which we will have to build the economy, rebuild the economy, we will have to build the political institutions, we'll have to build, build a democratic state, we'll have to build a court system, we'll have to do this and you have to do that and the other. Now, that seems like a completely lunatic program. You're going to go to a place like Somalia, you're going to build these things, but reflect, Boutros, 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 Ghali came from Egypt, and in Egypt they have a parliament, they have courts, they have all of these things coexisting with an undiminished dictatorship. So in Boutros Ghali's idea, you just go and set up, you get a building and you call it the parliament building. You create another, another building called the Electoral Commission. And then you, have, you will summon different people and say, you're going to organize the Democratic Party, and you're going to organize the Central Party, and you're going to organize the Patriotic Party. You better be smart about it. And so, that was, so the idea of creating democracy for the Secretary General of the United Nations in 1993 was something that was very straightforward because he had the Egyptian case. A great warning there in the case of Egypt, because you have all the forms, the externally created, externally induced forms, which actually provide extremely comfortable framework for a dictatorship. If you believe that the unity of the humanity is broken, that it is separated into humanities like species and different species, then you are completely disarmed you have no weapon and no tool to protest or to react to a flagrant injustice, a bloodbath, or a genocide. In the name of what should you react? To the genocide in Rwanda or to the beginning of a genocide in Darfur if you don't believe that democracy is for everyone, if you believe like Herder, Hegel and Spengler that humanity is divided into different species and so on and so on. That's why if I oppose the motion, it is not because I believe that we shall build all of a sudden tomorrow morning, a perfect British parliamentary democracy in the deserted, inhabited areas of Darfur, which I visited a few weeks ago. Of course not. In these parts of Africa where the human cleansing has been nearly achieved, of course you will not have democracy coming from, from the soil. But believing that democracy is for everyone just means that you have in hands some tools, some arguments, some words, some values which allow you to condemn what is happening, for example, in Darfur. <laughs>